James the Lesser, we don't know how to do any pulls with anything yet. Like, I'm looking to do pulls with Nightbot and stuff, and I think it would still work here on YouTube like we were trying to get it to work on Twitch. Here we go. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Line, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with... We have just caught DSP at the end of a stream recording. He hit stop recording, and now... Well, let's watch him beg. Okay, just gonna stretch my legs, guys. Once again... If uh, you guys like the Final Fantasy stuff, please support it. As you guys can see, so we went from a slow-ish launch day to yesterday, an overabundance of support, and now today it's like back to nothing. So wouldn't that, oh, I don't know, balance out? Just saying. You know, this is literally tips is one minute man and a $1 tip from earlier, and that's it. Now, some of you have super chatted, and thank you for that. No memberships whatsoever today either. So womp, womp. you tell me, I'm enjoying the game, the content's great, the graphics are great. The music is great. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I think if people are just tired of RPGs. Just being honest. No. No, they're not. They're tired of you. Also, how are you over 10 hours into the game and you're still in Chapter 2? Honest, I think they are. So, I mean, I don't think there's a chance I could play Dragon's Dogma this month. No one's going to watch it. People are RPG'd out. They want variety. They want action. They want combat. They want different things. It's too many of the same game at once. And I said this. 100%. I said it earlier this year that this was going to happen. There's too much of the same fucking kind of game. I like that. I'm broke, man. I'm not tired of RPGs. And again, yes, it's an RPG, but are you really going to sit there and tell me that this game plays exactly like Baldur's Gate 3? Plays exactly like, like a dragon? What's that? Plays just like Dragon's Dogma 2, which is coming out? Which he's probably going to skip now? No. They don't play anything alike. And people just get tired. And I hear it. I totally hear that, you know? <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, wow. What a gut. Ugh. Remember, guys, he's healthy. This is the healthiest he's ever been. He doesn't need to go to the gym, guys. Only trolls say he needs to go to the gym. Ugh. I just want you guys to understand, I'm very happy for those of you that are here hanging out with me and having a good time with the game. I really do. I understand that not everyone can be supportive every day. I get it. Oh, there's a great chat. He might ban it before you can see it on screen. The economy is shit. Nobody can afford to pay your bills too. Really, I do. I'm not over... I'm not... Overall, things are all right. I'm just saying that it's crazy with this game. How am I supposed to judge how much I play it? The first day did not so good. The second day did insanely good. Today is deader than the first day. So how do I judge how much to play Final Fantasy VII? I have no clue. I do. Right? He's already changed his schedule to play Baldur's Gate 3 on Monday, which was originally supposed to be Final Fantasy VII. So I think we are going to alternate. Like my plan, I talked about this on the podcast today. I said I think what I'm going to do is alternate between this and Baldur's Gate. And I think that's just what we're going to do for the month. Because... Obviously, I can't rely just on this game when two out of three days so far has been so slow, you know? But you made over $200 on the day before. So between three days, you've made over $300 in tips. Not counting Super Chats and memberships. So if you make over $300 in tips across three days from this one game, that's $100 a day. Not mentioning the... Whatever you got on uh, Friday Night Fights, I think it was. Yeah, Friday Night Fights. And whatever he makes tonight on whatever game he's playing. So between three days, over $300. Nope, not good enough, guys, because only one day had over $200, guys. Thank you, Soul Psych Records. To the Super Chat, we love you, Phil. Thank you to Soul Psych for the Super Chat. Oh, someone else is about to get banned. People have real jobs producing actual things of substance, and they make way less than you. Appreciate that. Okay. Why? I just realized something. Why is this menu skewed to the side of the screen? Isn't that weird? Wouldn't a menu usually be, like, centered? Why is it to the right? That is really weird. Why are you leaning like that so fucking weird? Why are you leaning to the right? <laughs> Sarah says... Oh, if 
people are so burning on RPGs, and why does Baldur's Gate get so much support? Ooh, good question, chat. I understand why you feel that way. If people are burned out of RPGs, then why does Baldur's Gate get so much support? Because it was game of the year. Because so many people loved it, and they're really dying to see my reaction to everything in it. Because it's such like a, a a meaningful game to a lot of people. And if you notice at Baldur's Gate, we don't meaningful get, get a lot of viewers even on the streams and on the videos. It's a small group of very dedicated people who like that playthrough. That's the difference. It's not getting mainstream viewership. You know what I'm saying? There, basically, the way I see it, there's going to be things with me that will get mainstream viewership. If I play, you know, a first-person shooter launch week. If I play a fighting game at launch week. If I play any Soulsborne game at any time, right? But it has to be a good one. It can't be a cheap knockoff. It has to be an official one. Or but you don't play the so-called cheap knockoffs, so how would you know how they do? You refuse to play Mortal Shell. You... Mortal Shell was great. It had something different enough to it to make it worth playing. Nope, not good enough for DSP. Or something really good like Lies of P, right? But man, these RPGs, I think the common viewer is just tired of this shit. They don't want to see another... Way to sell the games there, DSP. These games are shit. Way to sell that game. Other fucking RPG when there's just endless amounts of them. I knew this was going to happen. I outright called it early this year and said, dude, look at the schedule. Why is it nonstop RPGs? No one's going to want this many. All right, let's continue. And then he clicks start recording and... Alrighty, everyone, we're back and we're picking flowers. <laughs> Amazing how he has to hide his beg, beg, beg and bitch, bitch, bitch like that. Thankfully, Raphael has the goods. With that, though, guys, we'll let you go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.